Okay, so today we are doing things a little bit different. For the first time ever, I am reacting to a chapter of 100 Years Quest. And I actually didn't realize that I've never done this before. And it's not because there haven't been chapters in the past that have been reaction worthy. It's just because, I don't know, for whatever reason, it never crossed my mind to do a reaction to a chapter of 100 Years Quest. I don't know, it's weird. But anyhow, the reason that I'm reacting to this chapter is just because somebody on Twitter just asked and since I'd never done a reaction to a chapter of 100 years quest before I just said screw it let's do it and with all that out of the way it is now time to jump into this chapter and I am instantly not scrolling down because I've seen this cover page and man let me tell you this cover page is definitely not YouTube friendly so we're just gonna move right along Ooh, okay, I like this. We're instantly starting out with the Thicket of Arms. So what, the Thicket of Arms is just a bunch of needles? Or rather, it would probably be more correct to say a bunch of thorns. And wow, they are all headed straight for Natsu. But bro, if you don't hit a fire dragon's roar and just blow away all these thorns, I'ma be disappointed. Bro, why are you trying to bob and weave? There are way too many of these things. Just obliterate all of them. Hit a fire dragon's king roar if you have to. Ooh, okay, gotcha, bro. Before this fight ends, bro, he only has three minutes left. I need to see Gajil in Dragon Force. I need that iron all over his skin, the glowing eyes, as well as the shadow powers. I need to see it. Ooh, okay, we getting a little bit strategic here, Ultron. The thorns are coming for everybody. I love to see it. I do not love to see this, though. What is this? For him, this would be like a popped pimple, and this is all just- okay. That's gross. Ugh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Necessary, but still probably really pain- Actually, is this painful for Gajil? Because it was shown in the previous chapter that Ultron's attacks aren't really effective against him because of the iron. Okay, Gajil, I see you. You're doing your thing against this monster. Oh, I guess now he's doing his thing against you. Wait, what? He didn't get stabbed with it? Did he turn it, like, intangible when his time ran up? How does that even make any sense? Is that how Brandish's magic works? While they're returning back to their original state, they can't be harmed? Tax. Golly, man. The assault of thorns just don't end. Everybody is catching the smoke. Dang, and Loxus took one right to the shoulder, bro. Why is it showing us this, though? I feel like this is an important scene, and I don't know why. I'll protect a Wendy with my life. Okay, let me see. Is it messed in this group? Uh, no. Okay, so they're all safe. Uh, this is a little bit hard to believe, bro. For how many thorns are raining down from the sky? Are you really going to sit here and tell me that only two people got hit? Okay, back to Natsu. This is what I'm actually here for, bro. But, yo, you kind of let me down, my boy. I need you to do something here. You're getting extremely outclassed. At least use magic. But you know what the funny thing is here? Is Natsu's performance is ten times more unrealistic than everyone else outside of Aldron. And when I say outside of Aldron, I literally mean outside of Aldron. Like everyone outside of his body. Like how have you only been hit a couple of times, Natsu? You're literally inside him. Everything around you is the thicket of arms. I was about to call it the thicket of thorns. Ooh, but he bringing out the magic. Okay. Ow. I'm feeling that one, dog. Oh my god. Gosh, that looks so painful. That's like a splinter on steroids, dude. Ugh, and that left you wide open. Wait, what? So he's getting pierced through his arm, through his brain, through his foot, through his stomach, through his legs. <laughs> How is he alive? I get it now. If I heat it up this much, then I can burn it. But there are some things that you can't burn with high temperature. Bro, this is an amazing panel to end off on. I think this might be my favorite panel in 100 Years Quest. This shit looks so dope. He got the heat just flowing off of him as he's disintegrating one of the thorns saying I'm finally getting fired up. I love this, I love this. However, despite this being really cool, it still leaves me with one massive unanswered question. How is he alive? Maybe like as the thorns were entering his body, he was burning them up so that the punctures weren't that deep. I think that, I think that might've been what he was doing. I'm not sure though. He may have just been a complete and total savage and said screw death and they completely punctured him through the brain and through everything 
and then he just burned them away. But I don't know, bro. But what I do know is that this is the end of the video. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on my next one. Peace out, everybody. Yeah.